If you're looking for the best 4 camera for music videos, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Canon EOS R6. The Canon EOS R6 is Canon's answer to the mirrorless craze. But unlike Micro Four Thirds cameras, the EOS R6 is a full-frame camera equipped with all the things you like in the DSLR but only in a slightly lighter package. Aside from taking beautiful photos, it can also take videos in 4K. One of the things that people prefer the EOS R6 over other brands is the fact that Canon has an array of lenses that will meet the requirement of most videographers. It allows up to 6 diffs for 4K videos and 120 diffs for 1080. The colors on the video are also stunning perfect for content creators for both amateurs and pros. You can also get two card slots allowing you to continuously shoot without having to switch cards. And just in case you need to shoot in an awkward angle, you can just flip out the screen and work without guessing the composition. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Panasonic Lumix GH5S. The Lumix GH5S is a favorite among video production houses. It can take 4K videos, capable of capturing videos in great detail. If you will compare the color produced by GH5 and GH5S, the Lumix GH5S produces a more natural color than the orange you produced by GH5. One of the things that you will notice is that it produces minimal noise. It is a rugged Panasonic mirrorless camera designed with a splashproof and dustproof body that can withstand different conditions. It also has twin SD card slots that give users the chance to shoot with the confidence that they have enough space for their video. However, the biggest downside to this camera is that it produces a lot of noise for anything that is above ISO 1600. The number 3 position is held by Panasonic Lumix G85. The Lumix G85 is another budget-friendly alternative for those who are looking for a compact and handy music video camera. Compared to other cameras, you may argue that this could potentially be the best camera for music videos considering what it brings to the table. It's one of those mid-range cameras that packs a punch for those who are only starting their career as a videographer. This comes in with a 5-axis body stabilization that allows fewer shakes even when you are only holding the camera while shooting video or shooting photos. Using the camera at awkward angles is also not an issue as it comes in with a 3-inch touchscreen LCD. The biggest downside is that you don't get a mic jack which can be a turn-off for some videographers. Next at number 4, we have GoPro or Osix Black. There are lots of people who are buying newer GoPro cameras thinking that the older ones get obsolete all of a sudden. In reality, this isn't the case. With the GoPro 6 Black, you get a candidate for the best camera for music videos with its 4K capability, robust design, and compact design. This is something designed for extreme sports and active individuals. Just imagine the GoPro 6 Black being able to handle 10 meters of being submerged in water even without any housing. The G Pwn chip is also optimized to improve image quality. Plus, GoPro 6 Black is known for its intuitive touchscreen. However, you will need to buy the right SD card. You will need to have Class 10 SD cards for the GoPro to work. The number 5 position is held by Nikon D850. The use of a backside illuminated BSI sensor means that the light collecting elements of the sensor are closer to the surface of the chip. This should not only increase the efficiency of the sensor, improving low light performance but should also be expected to make the pixels near the edges of the sensor better able to accept light approaching with high angles of incidence, improving peripheral image quality. Like the Date 110 before it, the Date 150 continues to offer an ISO 64 mode that allows it to tolerate more light in bright conditions. The Date 150 promises the same dynamic range advantage as the Date 110 meaning it should be able to compete with the medium format sensors used in the likes of the Fujifilm GFX 50S and Pentax 645Z. The Date 150 has gained a more usable electronic front curtain shutter option, FZU, which can now be used quiet shutter modes, as well as live view and mirror up mode. To get the full benefit, though, you need to turn on exposure delay, which has had two sub-second delay settings added. However, Exposure delay persists across all shooting modes. The number 6 position is dominated by Sony A7 Roman 3. 
The A7 line is the basic all-round option. The A7S series, now up to the Sony A7 as Roman 3s, a lower resolution, higher speed action, and video specialist. The A7R, meanwhile, is the flagship, high resolution model for photographers who want the ultimate in quality, and the latest version is the mighty Sony A7R Roman 4. There is also a sports version built for speed, the Sony Anon Roman 2. And then there are two outliers, the Tyrannosaurus of Kemratech, the Sony Aeon, and the Sony A7C, which is a kind of vlogger version of the A7 Roman 3 with a range of finer body and a flip-out screen. On paper, the Sony A7 Roman 3 is the cheapest and least well-specified camera in the latest Sony A7 lineup. Older iterations of A7 series cameras are still on sale and may be cheaper. In practice, its price, continuous shooting frame rate, and oversampled full width 4K video make it a highly capable all-rounder that qualifies for our list of the best full-frame mirrorless cameras to get right now. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Panasonic Lumix Z Zone 100. Enter Panasonic, a company with a long history of making travel zoom cameras. In fact, the company made what many would consider the first one, the DMC T-Zone, way back in 2006. Panasonic entered the one-type market in 2014 with its DMC F-Zone 1000, a camera we liked enough to give it a gold award. At this year's Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, the company announced the DMC T-Zone 100, T-Zone 100 outside of North America, which took the guts of the F-Zone 1000 and shrank the body down to the roughly the size of a Sony RX10 Roman 4. Naturally, you can't stuff a fast 25-400 lens into a compact body, but the Z-Zone 100's 25-250 mech with f2.8 5.9 lens is nothing to sneeze at, either. The camera uses the same 20.1 MP sensor as the F-1000, which is more than likely the same as the one in the Sony RX10 Roman 2 and Roman 3. The Z-Zone 100 is chock full of features, most notably its depth from the focus autofocus system, 4K video capture, and electronic viewfinder. The number 8 position is held by Sony Alpha 6400. The Sony 6400 is a follow-up to the 3-year-old 6300 and shares some features with the more expensive 6500. It has a lot of things going for it like reliably good image quality and a fast hybrid AF system, but those positive traits are buried under a bedrock of convoluted menus and awkward ergonomics. Everything great about this camera is hidden under a menu, overshadowed by caveats or not present at all. The main highlights are the real-time IAF and tracking autofocus features, an updated image processor, and a 180-degree flipping touchscreen. At $899 for the body alone, $999 for the 16, 15 kit lens, or $1,299 with an 18, 135 m zoom lens, the 6400 has the parts to be the ideal compact powerhouse for any photography enthusiast or vlogger but it misses on execution. Using the 6400 these past few weeks, I found out that it's not quite the game-changing compact mirrorless camera I hoped for, but rather an inoffensive camera with a few good qualities. Next at number 9, we have Panasonic Lumix DC CS70K. In early 2016, Panasonic catered to compact travel zoom fans with the Lumix S60. Now, the Panasonic ZS70 follows in the footsteps of that camera, debuting a subtly restyled body and a number of new features predominantly aimed at making the new model more attractive to selfie shooters. Sporting 20 megapixel resolution and an impressively powerful Leica DC Vario Helmer branded 3rd optical zoom lens, the Panasonic ZS70 is nevertheless compact enough to slip in a pants pocket or small purse. And it doesn't skimp on features either, courting enthusiasts with everything from fully manual exposure and a built-in viewfinder and 4K video capture to a raw file format, focus peaking, and zebra striping functions. Want the full overview of the Panasonic ZS70? You'll want to click here for our complete rundown of what's new and what's not. Just want to know how it shoots in the real world? Read on for our first field test below. Let's come back to the focus stacking. Because that's something a little fun and unusual, especially in a small sensor compact camera like the Panasonic ZS70. Its inclusion once again reinforces the fact that, small sensor or not, Panasonic sees this camera as targeting enthusiasts. The typical consumer would never in a million years look for a feature like this, nor would they likely be able to make head or tail of an interface that, initially, at least, 
feels a bit opaque. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Olympus OMD EM10 Mark Roman III. The Olympus OMD EM10 Roman III is a 16 MP micro four thirds mirrorless camera. It looks like a slightly prettier version of its predecessor, and the main changes are to the user interface, UI and menus, in an aim to make the camera more accessible to relative newcomers to photography. Beyond the attempts to make the EM10 Roman III and its more specialized photographic modes easier to use, a more powerful processor brings 4K video shooting. Impressively, the camera is able to offer a combination of mechanical and digital stabilization in 4K mode. Most cameras can only digitally stabilize 1080, giving uncannily smooth footage, even when moving the camera around. Although the EM10 Roman III is the entry level to the OMD series, it's a distinctly mid-level camera. Its profusion of direct controls make it a camera with plenty of space to grow into, and even with the work done to ease access to its full set of features, it still feels like a camera aimed at people who want to do a lot more than just point and shoot. That's all for today. We upload music, product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.